I've just bought uh, the NVIDIA Shield TV and I've just set it up um, and I'm actually quite impressed with it. Uh, it's Android based. Um, I really like the the home screen. It's quite. It's not very fussy. No, I can't see any ads on it. It's really good, and um, I like the way uh, they placed out in lines like this, and you can just scroll down, and there's all your stuff. Lots of YouTube stuff on it, obviously, because it's Android TV. Uh, but you can um, you can adjust that in your settings. Um, now there's a couple of things what I particularly like. These have been reviewed all over YouTube and on the internet. Um, but it's, it's a couple of things that I, I'd like to point out. Um, is that I really like the AI. Uh, that it upscales HDTV to 4K. And I'll be giving that a test in a bit. Um, and I also like the fact that you can play 4K films on your Plex. Now a lot of 4K films won't play on Plex if they haven't been compressed in a certain way and I know if it's a bit annoying when you've got 4K media on your server and you can't play 4K films on Plex, it's just really annoying. This is the Plex uh, app on the NVIDIA Shield TV and though I can only show stills and my original video got a copyright strike uh, for showing too much footage of this film. Um, so I've had to put stills on, um, but still you can see the quality of it. Uh, you can see that the HDR effect is very clear picture, uh, and it's playing really fine. Now it played really fine. There was no problems with it at all. So with the um, Shield TV, Plex plays absolutely fine with the 4K film. Next we've got the Plex app on my LG TV, and as you can see. It's a mess. As soon as you get any fast sequences, uh, it just pixelates all over the place, just can't cope with it. The processor is just not powerful enough to play the 4K movie. And next, I'll, I'll do the my Amazon Fire Stick. Now, oh, I was surprised that the Amazon Fire Stick did manage to play it. Uh, when I initially tried it out on there, it was a little bit jumpy, but it played it quite smoothly. Although, as you can see, the picture isn't quite as good as the Shield TV. Um, there was a little, quite a bit of ghosting on there. And you may find now and again you will get jutter in. I didn't on this occasion, but I have previously to this when playing a 4K movie on the Plex app on the 4K uh, Fire Stick. What I want to do now is show you the AI upscaling. So it's like just go to settings, go to AI upscaling, and down the bottom here, this, so at the top is where you actually put your upscaling on where you want it in basic, medium, low, detail enhancement. But then if, at the bottom you've got enable demo mode. So let's put demo mode on. And then just go to um, a HD uh, series. And then with the HD series you can use the demo mode to show you the difference between the two. So this is Sherlock in HD. I'll just take it back a little bit, just here. Okay, so this is in basic mode now. And then what I'll do now is put it into AI, in, AI Enhanced Detail. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on this camera, but there is definitely a difference between the two. It's a basic, and this is AI enhanced, detail high. And you can definitely see a difference. It's not night and day, don't get me wrong. It isn't like, wow, but it's definitely a difference. I can see that it looks more relative to 4K uh, than it did previously. It's doing a very good job and it is quite impressive that it can do it. So obviously it shows how powerful the processor is in this uh, NVIDIA Shield TV. And just to show you again, I'll turn it off, put it to basic. And 
and then put it onto AI enhanced. And there's definitely a difference. You can see the wrinkles in the skin, the hair, the eyebrows. It's just, it just really, really stands out. Now you can pick up the whiskers on his face. It's really good. But what I want to do is I never hundred percent trust these demo modes on these on, on, the, on these equipment. It could be like it could be like uh, the Volkswagen with their diesel emissions. You know, you never know where they're doing some jiggly pokery with it. So what I'm going to do is use the you play the same program on my TV and on my Fire Stick 4K and see if there's a difference. Obviously the Nvidia issue, I'll, I'll only record it when it's using um, the AI enhanced on and see if there's a difference and try to do a split screen. Uh, setup was really easy. Um, you just follow it step. You don't need any uh, leaflet or anything like that. It'll just do it all for you. And what I found was really good when I set up was it just asked me to transfer everything from my phone. And you just you just ask your uh, Google Assistant to transfer it. Bam! It does it all for you. Wallop, and it's all on there. Uh, it was so easy. And also, what I like is the Google Assistant. It's got Chromecast built into it, so you can cast whatever from your phone uh, to the TV uh, really easy. Uh, the, Google Assist, the Google Assistant is very smooth, you just press the button on your remote and off it goes. And, it's, and also you can use the remote to turn your TV off and uh, turn the volume up and down. I think it's device preferences and then display and sound and you've got the CEC and, the, and I've already configured it to my TV, the LG TV go into power control and, and this is what the remote will do for you. Turn on TV, set TV to input shield when she wakes, turn off, uh, it's just pretty much there. Uh, you can do your volume and, and but you can turn these on and off so it's customizable. You've also got your games on there. They're pretty older games, a lot of them are free. Uh, it doesn't come with a a gaming pad uh, so you'd have to buy one of them um, but if you're really into gaming I would probably get the uh, Nvidia uh, TV Pro the Pro will have a lot better games on there um, like I said the voice control is really good um, you just press the button on the remote uh, with the microphone on play Sherlock Holmes on Netflix So you probably have to be very specific. It's come up with the Sherlock Holmes film, not the Sherlock Holmes uh, series, but there you go. Um, you get used to it in the end, but uh, still pretty good. The remote control is triangular. Um, it's got all the buttons you need on there. Um, it's a big Netflix button on the bottom, which is a bit weird. Um, it's it's a, a, a pyramid, triangular shaped, which is really good, feels really good in, in to hold in your hand you know it feels really good it's just when you put it down on something that may be a bit weird but all in all it's a nice remote i think there's a probably a better remote than most of them the device itself um is cylindrical um you got your uh, powerpoint on the one side here and your hdmi cable goes in here uh you can have um ethernet connection just here as well 
and then the other side here you've got um, uh, an SD card that you can go in there which is pretty nifty so you can increase the storage um, and they say it's cylindrical because they want to make it unobtrusive but here's, here's, the, here's the problem I got uh, it kind of how is that unobtrusive you know maybe I could put it on the floor possibly underneath something but when it's sat on top it's not particularly you know you've got the one lead here you can't stand it up you can't you've got to lay it flat because you've got the HDMI cable on one side and the power cable on the other so it's not really as if it's you know unobtrusive it's kind of there I don't know so I'm not too sure about uh, this type of shape it's a bit weird um, I think the, the pro would be better when it's just standing upright and not that it's too bad, but there we are. So all in all, um, I'm really impressed with it. It's very snappy, very fast. Um, would I, I, I mean, I've bought it uh, recently. Will I keep it? Probably not. I pro the reason being is, uh, use the downsides to it. Even though it has everything on it, it has uh, a HDR10, Dolby Vision, um, it has uh, Dolby Atmos, so it's got everything on it. It doesn't have HDR 10, a 10 plus, uh, which is a bit disappointing, and the Fire Cube does. Um, but it is very, very good, very, 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 very snappy, really quick. I like the AI upscaling, uh, that's impressive. Um, but if you're entrenched in Amazon and the Echo uh, systems, then it's, you're probably better off getting a Fire Cube. Uh, because it doesn't have Amazon Music, so you can't play your music through it. You obviously can't connect it to your Echo speakers, especially if you have a, an Echo Studio. And it doesn't have all four. Now, that's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, Channel 4, a catch up. I do watch a lot of, quite a few things on it, but it wouldn't be a deal breaker. I think the main thing for me was is that it hasn't got Amazon Music on it. And I don't think that's the video spot, it might be the app developers fault because they are not giving them the right things to put it on there i don't know so possibly for me i may send this back and get a, a fire cube instead and i'll be reviewing that okay thanks for watching and i'll see you soon